Hello everybody, we haven't done a channel vlog in a while, so let's get one of those done. Let's give you guys some information and update you on everything going on with the YouTube channel at the moment and everything, you know, just kind of going on in my life. Just a brief overview, I'm not going to go into hyper amounts of detail of everything, but I figured it's been a while since we've done one of these, so let's update you guys on what's going on. First and foremost, man, there is a game shortage at the moment. I just cannot figure out what I want to play for the channel. We just finished Pyre. That game is really good. <laughs> I really do like that game. Still not my favorite super giant game. I think Transistor definitely takes the cake on that one, um, but that is a personal preference thing. That doesn't mean that Pyre is bad. Pyre is actually a really fantastic game. It's just um, a little too different than their other games, in my opinion. I like their other games a little bit better. But with that said, we finished that game, and we had that and Mass Effect going on. We had that and Mass Effect and Dishonored 2 Death of the Outsider going on, but we finished Death of the Outsider, and we finished Pyre, and now we just have Mass Effect. And I'm like, I don't know what other game to play at the moment. Because there's not a whole lot of good games out there until kind of the mid to end of this month do we start getting some good stuff that I'm, I would be like I would consider playing like Far Cry 5 um, for instance also Final Fantasy 15 I considered as an option and I'm still considering it as an option because most of the people on the channel like watching RPGs and that is definitely an RPG it just happens to be a JRPG which means it's very weird um, as most Final Fantasies are I do love Final Fantasy quite a bit um, but I went to go play the demo that they put out and for whatever reason my computer is having a lot of issues with that game and it's not just me, some other people are as well with the same setup that I'm having um, with a 980 Ti um, in particular, which is a graphics card that should be crushing that game. It's just for whatever reason, even with the newest graphics drivers, um, it's just having some stuttering issues and it's not a playable experience yet. If they fix that, then I'll be like, okay, maybe we'll, we'll do that. But I want to know if there's any interest in that in the first place. Do you guys want to see Final Fantasy 15? Maybe. If, if you do, then that's awesome. I will play it. Uh, if not, then uh, I'll just ignore it and just maybe play it on my own if I find the time. Probably won't find the time because I'm a busy person, as you know. Game in the background is Diablo 3 because I have to be playing a lot of Diablo 3 right now. Being the Diablo fans community manager, I have a lot to keep up on on that front. So I'm kind of killing two birds with one stone, um, getting some footage for this vlog and doing the work that I need to do in the background. But at the same time, that brings me into my next thing, which is you're going to start seeing a bit more Diablo on the channel. Um, it, usually it's just kind of at the beginning and mid part of a season, and maybe on a PTR if they get something like really crazy going. But for the most part, Diablo content for me has kind of happened during the beginning of a season, and then I don't really touch it um, because I go back and play different games. Um, that's not going to really be the case now. I'm going to try to get some stuff out there that is useful videos for people. So I'm going to do some of the conquest guides. So I'm going to give a guide for each of the conquests, how to do them, like the speed racer one where you go and complete the um, the campaign in under an hour. And by the way, I'm going to do all of these conquests as much as I can with solo play and not with uh, with anybody else. There are some that have exceptions to that, such as the Curses Conquest. It's just easier with more people. It's um, There's no reason not to get a couple other people who you know can um, c clear it very quickly to do that Conquest. So essentially, I'm just going to be doing some more guides for Diablo. I might do some build guides because I do like making really dumb and silly builds. Not the one in the background. The one in the background is very, very good. But I like just kind of messing around and having a lot of fun with that. So we'll see how that goes, but expect some more Diablo on the channel simply because it does it does actually do two things for me it allows me to do both of my jobs it allows me to be the diablo fans community manager do the research and the stuff that i need to do and keep up to date with everything going on in the diablo world like the fact that there actually might be a switch version coming of the game we'll, we'll see about that keep keep your eyes on diablofans.com if you want to hear more about that there's an article going up here shortly um, about that very thing but what I'm trying to say is, like, I I have a lot going on with Diablo fans. It actually takes up a good portion of my day worth of time. And uh, then I have to play D 
Diablo in order to keep up to date with that stuff. So why not kind of do two things at once? Why not make Diablo videos, which is something I already want to do and should do more of, honestly. I just don't. Um, and make some really good guides for that and for you guys who uh, maybe are new to the game or don't necessarily know how to finish some of these conquests or um, how to get very specific builds going or anything like that. But also by, you know, by doing this, I'm also doing the work that I need to do on the other end of things, which is always really good to kind of do two things at once. But then there is Life is Strange Before the Storm, which is a game that we finished like back in December. Really, really good game, but not quite as good as the original Life is Strange, which, by the way, is my favorite game of all time. I might add, I really do love that game and everybody should play it, which is why I like saying that. It's just kind of get it out there. If you haven't played Life is Strange, go play it. Before the Storm is also really good, but I just noticed that on the 5th, so just in a couple days here, we're getting the final farewell episode, which was like a pre-order bonus. I'm totally okay with them doing stuff like that um, because I was going to pre-order the game anyways, and it's just, it's really good to see that there is going to be one final episode of Life is Strange before we, because we know that they're working on Life is Strange 2. They've already kind of announced that um, privately last year at E3 on top of Before the Storm, which is really good. So we know they're working on something. But we're going to get one final episode for Before the Storm, which brings back the original voice actors, um, actresses rather, to do the two main characters. So we're going to get um, uh, Chloe back in her original voice acting, which is great because the problem before was it just um, it was it was good. It just wasn't. It wasn't Ashley Birch, right? Ashley Birch is a really great voice actress, and that was kind of who Chloe was in the first game, and it's not the same now. And then Max is coming back um, with her voice actress and everything, and it's going to be kind of the final... It's it's what it is, final farewell. It's the, the farewell between those two characters of Max and Chloe, which are from the first game, and you play as Chloe in Before the Storm, which is a prequel. I know if you're not keeping up to the, the, the on the story of that, it doesn't really matter, but the point is... On the 5th, we're going to have a the Final Farewell episode go up, which I had totally forgotten about. So that will kind of fill out some space this month until we get to the end of the month where we have uh, the Sea of Thieves coming out on the 20th, which that's exciting because I have had a really good idea for a potential series for that. I'm working on it. That's a, that's a work in progress. We'll see if you guys are even interested in seeing kind of a silly playthrough of that with me and a couple of my friends who may or may not be able to do Caribbean accents and act as pirates because they live in the Caribbean, which is awesome. Uh, so we'll see how that ends up going. On top of that, uh, we have uh, Far Cry 5, I believe, coming out on the 27th, which is pretty soon. Um, I'm considering doing a playthrough of that because uh, I'm kind of really into shooters at the moment, and I feel like Far Cry is always a weird, it's always a weird game. The, there is an issue, though. Far Cry is notorious for having performance issues at launch. Whether it be Primal or Far Cry 4 or Far Cry 3, they all had massive performance issues at launch. And it was only through uh, very specific updates that they did that it kind of fixed some of those problems. So I'm a little hesitant to play that game, but I may very well still do that. So that is also on the table for a potential upcoming series. On the distant horizon later this summer is Vampire, which is coming out on June 5th, done by Don't Nod, which is the people who did Life is Strange. So I'm, I really want to play that game. It's a vampire RPG. It's really cool looking. I'm kind of excited to see how that game ends up panning out. Everything I've seen from it thus far looks fabulous. And because it is done by Don't Nod, I have a feeling that the story is going to be really cool. Um, I'm a little concerned because it is a big departure from what they've done thus far. They did Remember Me, which was a pretty forgettable game, ironically, but it had to do with like, um, memory and, you know, all of that weird stuff. And then there was Life is Strange, which obviously is my favorite game of all time. So they kind of like went from one extreme to the other. And then they're coming out with Vampire, which is this like Victorian vampire RPG. It kind of looks like Vampire the Masquerade, um, like that game as a spiritual successor which is vampire and i'm excited for that so we'll see how that ends up panning out um again that's towards the middle to the end of summer so we'll see if you guys are interested in that game i am um if you guys want to see it let me know in fact that's kind of the point of why i'm telling you all of this is if you guys have a game that you want to watch me play 
that is preferably a newer release than to an older release, um, let me know. Or if there is like a sequel coming out to a game that I haven't played, let me know that too, because then I can go back and play the original game and get the, you know, get that experience. Kind of like what I did with Dragon Age. I did Dragon Age Origins, Dragon Age 2, and then Dragon Age Inquisition came out shortly thereafter. And I played through that entire game, which by the way, we know we're probably getting a new Dragon Age game announcement at E3. So that's really exciting, but we won't see that until probably next year. So what I'm asking is like, if you guys have game suggestions, what you want to see on the channel, now is the time to let me know. So going into the summer, I have like a really healthy lineup of games that you guys will be able to get content on that isn't just Diablo and Mass Effect, even though we're in like the last two thirds of that or ra rather the last quarter of that game. But yeah, we're pretty close to being done with it, which means that I just need more games to be able to play. I've kind of gone through my exhaustive list that I had last year very quickly, a little quicker than I was expecting. Not Mass Effect though, that's <laughs> taking about as long as I would expect. Um, on top of that though, like I was looking at uh, Into the Breach, which is a new game from the FTL developers. Looks really cool, looks right up my alley. Maybe I'll do uh, a series on that and try to get through that game and actually beat it. I don't know. We'll see how that goes. I don't even know if you guys are interested in that kind of thing. It's um, a turn-based strategy game. Not typically my kind of uh, game that I do on the channel, but if you guys want to see it, then by all means, let me know, because I think that it is a really cool game. It is fun to watch um, because there is a lot of different strategy involved, and I feel like uh, I would have a lot of fun with it, which is always um, a good indication that you guys will end up liking it as well. On top of that, I'm getting a lot of of indie game keys from all these developers and I'm considering whether or not I make an indie game uh, kind of series again. We'll see how that ends up going, but who knows. With that out of the way though, uh, later this month I'll be gone for a few days like in the middle of the month, so I'll have to have something to play during that time to actually put videos up while I'm gone. Um, so I'm kind of looking forward to something this month that isn't necessarily Life is Strange or Sea of Thieves. We'll see how, we'll see what we can find as far as games are concerned. Again, let me, let me know. And really the final thing that I need to update you guys on is that the new Patreon rewards are live and I re-updated kind of the Patreon and how that all works. You can go check it out at patreon.com slash OSW Guild. But there are some really cool things there. And if you missed the Patreon video, then I did just want to quickly update you guys on that stuff. Essentially, I redid all the rewards because I wanted something that I would be able to fulfill um, in a much better way, especially with my time limitations at the moment. And essentially, I wanted to give everybody something that was going um, going to be really cool for, you know, no matter how much you wanted to support us with. But YouTube ad revenue is really bad. It's only getting worse. And if you want to support the channel, the best way to do it is through Patreon. And now you can get some really cool rewards by doing that. I'm not going to go over them. You can go ahead over to the page and check it out. still need to update the Patreon video, which I plan on doing. Um, but all of this is kind of like takes a lot of time to do this stuff and I have limited time at the moment so I'm trying to get it done as quickly as possible outside of finding new games going on a brief trip this month and having to you know redo all the patreon stuff like I, I'm having very limited amounts of time to do the things I want to do which is to work on a tabletop RPG that I'm making set in the cyberpunk world I've kind of discussed that in the past a bit but it is kind of like D&D, &D, you know, it's a, it's a tabletop RPG that just happens to be cyberpunk. And just like a brief overview, what I'm doing with that is I really want a an RPG where no matter what you do in the game, you can get rewarded for it. And it's not like, you know, if you've ever played D&D, &D, there's very specific levels that you level up at and then you get rewards for. You know, you think about like level three, you get a lot of stuff, but level two, you don't really get much at and that's not fun it's not fun to level up and be like oh i only get a stat increase and maybe this one other thing and maybe a new spell that's not very exciting i want every single time that you play to have some sort of 
impact on your character progression and for you to have many, many choices. And I'll have more to talk about in the future with that as we kind of work on it. But I'm I'm still working on it, been working on it since the fall, and I'm really looking forward to how that is going to end up panning out. But that's another thing that's like sucking up a lot of my time at the moment. And it's a very fun thing to do, don't get me wrong. Like I really enjoy my time that I that I'm actually like working, because I'm working a lot right now. But it is a time sink. So that is another thing that, you know, I'm really looking forward to sharing with you guys. Um, we'll see if you guys are even interested in it. And, you know, maybe maybe some of you are interested in more tabletop RPG stuff. Uh, we'll, we'll end up seeing when I get that out there and get a beta um, version of the rules out there so people can actually play it and, you know, t- try it out and see how it is and get feedback and all that. I have plans for all of that. Um, I'll talk about that in a future video. But I figured now is the time because it's been... It's been a while since we've done a, a channel update. Now's the time to give you guys some sort of update on what's going on with like videos and stuff like that and what I did with the Patreon and all of that stuff. Um, because, you know, going into the summer and the spring, or rather the spring and the summer, if we want to go chronologically, it tends to get really busy and it's, it's tougher for me to do stuff like... Um, you know like these vlogs in order to update you guys on everything that's happening especially when a lot of games start coming out and it's like i gotta get those videos out over these kind of things now is a good time to update you guys essentially but with that being said let me know if you have any games that you suggest that i play because i will be like avidly listening to any requests um at the moment and hopefully we can you know go into summer and spring with a really really good lineup of of videos going out but with that being said we shall see you guys next time